Gentlemen, uh, ladies of the press, thank you for being here this afternoon. My name is Mark D'Antonio. I'm the district attorney for Don Yenna County. At 10 o'clock this morning, I was made aware of the incident that happened in Florida regarding a former employee of mine with the name of Myron May. Upon hearing the news, I was shocked uh, beyond words and deeply saddened. As a DA, my first responsibility is always to think about the innocent victims in this case. I understand that three people were treated. One student was released immediately after receiving minor injuries. The second victim is in stable condition. And as of 50 minutes ago, I understand that the third victim is in critical condition. My first thoughts are with the victims for a speedy recovery and for their families. It's hard to believe that I'm before you now to speak about this horrible and tra tragic incident. Mr. May worked for the Public Defender's Office when he applied for a job with my office, a district attorney's office here in Down Yonder County. On January 18th, 2014, I offered him a job. He accepted and began working. He was assigned to be a prosecutor at the felony level. He did his job with distinction and with honor. He was well liked among his peers. I personally liked him. On October 6th, 2014, without notice, I found a resignation letter on his desk. He had never before talked to me or any of my colleagues about wanting to leave the DA's office. And let me read to you what he wrote me. It says, regarding letter of resignation, Myron May, dated October 6th, 2014. Dear Mr. D'Antonio, I'm writing to inform you that I am resigning my position as assistant trial attorney with the third judicial district attorney's office. Thank you very much for the opportunities that you've provided me during my time with the office, as well as the professional guidance and support I have greatly enjoyed my tenure here. I feel that I have learned a lot and grown professionally. Thank you for understanding my decision to leave the office. I wish you and the Third Judicial District Attorney's Office continued success. If I could be any assistance during the transition, please let me know. Sincerely, sign. Myron May. The last time I spoke to Mr. May was the Thursday before that Monday, October 6th. I was in his office. I literally put my arm around Mr. May and said, how are things going? He said, hey, boss, it's going great. Everything's fine. No problems. That's the last time I ever spoke to Mr. May. I never spoke to him again. And that concludes my remarks. I will say this, let me say one more following thing. My office and my staff were in deep shock. I have offered counseling service to them and I have a counselor come in this afternoon to do some grief counseling. Um, we're all quite put aside by this. We don't understand the nature of it. I don't understand all the facts, but it's, it's extremely shocking to us all. I'll, I'll entertain questions if you like. Mr. May had exemplary um, worth ethic at the, at the Public Defender's Office. We knew him from there. Uh, everybody will tell you um, that he was efficient, uh, very well intentioned uh, doing his work, um, worked hard, was very fair and honest, uh, and he was a very good uh, public defender. He was a very good 
district attorney, assistant district attorney. Uh, sir. I'm coming with your help with a uh, quick question. Yes, sir. No, I, I'm going to restrict the comments today to only what I do know, and that was during the time of his employment. Uh, like I said, I never spoke to Mr. May after that Thursday before the Monday he retired. And I want to please keep my comments. Um, because of, uh, I know the police are still investigating the issue. I don't want to be involved in interrupting their investigation or saying things that I shouldn't. So let me keep my comments to the, the term when he was employed by me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm unaware of what you're talking about right now. I, I was, the complaint was never made to me. But it indicates that you had the. If it happened. While he was employed, that would have come to your attention. I, well, I would hope so. Yes, I would hope so. Mr. Ma'am. Did you or anyone in, in, in the department or the office have reason to believe that he might have had any mental health issues? Mr. May performed his, his, his job with with great distinction, and the, the, the answer would be no. I personally um, didn't have any complaints of any, of any kind of Mr. May's performance or his attitude in the office. Uh, he was friendly and kind, that w and, and everybody liked him. I don't think you'll find a, a person. Now, I'm not excusing his behavior by any means. What he did after he left my ploy, if true, is, 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 is horrible, beyond horrible. But while in our employ, he was a good employee, well liked by everyone. Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? On this very tragic day, I, I, I'm devastated. You know, you mentioned he was hired uh, by your office in yes. January. How long was he an employee here at the government department? Well, he was in my employ from um, January 18th until and including October 6th. Do you know why he was here in Las Cruces before then? If he was no, I, I never inquired why he was here, no. But like I said before, he worked for the Public Defender's Office, so I didn't, he didn't come here particularly for this job. He was already here in Las Cruces. Before he, he was hired uh, for the Public Defender's Office, he was a public defender. Yes, that's, we hired him from the Public Defender's Office, that's correct. What kind of cases did he handle? He handled all sorts of felonies. Um, we, 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 we're, we assigned cases here in Las Cruces um, by judges. And so, um, whatever cases came up, he handled. And he was, a, he was somewhat a, a junior attorney, so we gave him uh, cases that were commensurate with his level of experience. Well, those, did you characterize? Be Excuse me, one second. All those cases be reviewed now? There's no, re I've never seen anything that would suggest that he did anything that would be unprofessional or improper in any cases. So no, I don't think oh, that's not necessary. There's no indication of proof whatsoever that um, whatever caused him to um, be involved in the incident in Florida uh, was not part of his work here. There's no indication of that whatsoever. I want to be really clear on that. Uh, Sir? Sir, um, just one is, uh, if you could, could you characterize like the types of cases? Uh, g general felonies, um, DUI, uh, felony DUIs. Um, he had, um, I know, I'm familiar with some of his cases because when he sent his letter of recognition, I took all of his caseload. So there are burglaries, there are assaults, there are assault cases, all, all types of cases that a typical DA's office would process because we don't sum up by crimes but by level of expertise. So just general felonies, all types. That's okay, so if you remember, please, I'll be here. Anybody else? Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate your time and patience. Have a good day.